Let's start with uh, this guy here, and we want to find the marginal rate of technical substitution and the formula for an isoquant. So remember, an isoquant is a uh, line on a chart that has as its axes two of the inputs, and we want to find all combinations of, in this case, the inputs are capital and labor, that uh, when combined yield the same amount of output where the formula that tells us how much output they yield is this guy right here. So what we really need to do, uh, we need to pick one of the inputs. I picked capital to be on the vertical axis, and then we just need to solve for that so that we get an equation for uh, any, any amount of L and Q that uh, it tells us what K we need. All right, so let's just solve for K. We can do that by subtracting 2L from both sides, and then we can divide each side by 3. And what we end up with is an equation that looks like this. K equals Q divided by 3 minus 2 thirds L. Okay, so why is this an isoquant? Well, suppose you want to know all combinations of capital and labor that give you like uh, 30 units of Q, okay? Well, we plug in 30 there and then we get that K is equal to 30 divided by 3 or 10 minus two-thirds L. Okay, so if we have no labor, we need 10 units of capital, according to this equation, to generate 30 units of uh, output. And if we plug that into the formula, 3 times 10 plus 2 times 0, hey, we get 30, just like we wanted. And then we subtract off two-thirds L to get to K. So uh, if L is equal to 15, say right over here, 2 thirds of 15 is 10, so then we get 10 minus 10, which is 0, and that tells us at that point we need 0 uh, capital. And the isoquant uh, in this case is just a line with a slope equal to negative 2 thirds. Now, we also know that the slope of the isoquant is the marginal rate of technical substitution. So we've found that as well. Where did I get this two-thirds from? Down here. When you write uh, a line, the formula for a line in this way, you know, it's um, then the thing multiple, this, this is the slope, okay? Another way that we can do this is we can use the fact that the marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to the negative marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital. And we could calculate those directly from this. So the marginal product of labor is equal to 2 because it's the derivative of this function here with respect to labor. The marginal product of capital is equal to 3. That's the derivative of 3k with respect to k. The derivative of this guy over here with respect to k is 0. So we get that. And so that tells us that this marginal product of labor divided by marginal product of capital is negative 2 thirds. Again, they match. It could be a way to check your work, too.